ready to open the hood, useful for the tutorials. And for car parts, the right idea is the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk, brake discs and pads used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. In order to change the rear brake pads on your vehicle, you must first lift the rear of the vehicle and remove the wheels to gain full access. Loosen the stud bolts on the rear wheels, raise the rear of the vehicle and put it in the two axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You will then be able to take off the wheels. Don't forget to slide them under the vehicle. Using a T30 torque socket, release the screw that holds the disc. Before starting, loosen the handbrake, otherwise you will not be able to complete this operation. Loosen the brake caliper. Use a ratchet and a 10mm socket to remove the upper caliper mounting bolt. Then use a 13mm spanner to remove the vibration damper. Using the large flathead screwdriver, release the brake caliper from its support. You can now install the caliper. You can now remove the pads. You can slit them off by pushing them away from the disc. You can use a screwdriver to help you. Using a socket wrench and a 21mm socket, loosen the screws on the brake caliper mount. Remove the screws and take the brake caliper mount off. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the pads run. Complete the removal of the disc retaining screw to remove the disc. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Clean the hub with a wire brush and once that is done, coat it with copper grease. This will help avoid deterioration caused by oxidation and aid with future interventions. Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Take your new brake rotor. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Take the new brake rotor. Place the new disc onto the hub and rescrew the fastening screw by hand as much as possible. Put the brake caliper mount back on, screwing it by hand to begin with and finishing with a socket wrench and a 15mm socket to fix it completely. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Take the new brake pads. Coat the outside of the new pads with copper grease. Insert the new pads into the brake caliper mount by sliding them in. Put the piston back. For this operation, you must have a brake caliper wind back tool. This is a specific tool that will make it possible to wind the piston back but also to have it turn on itself to reset the self-adjusting system on your handbrake. Put the caliper back in place and screw back the upper caliper mounting bolt and the vibration damper.
finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on. And lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful. Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.